you have to, you know, input an email and like pay money or something to see this article for New York Times. But um, I was reading it on my phone. It says 95 wild horses die a virus is likely the cause officials say. And in this article, a girl named Susan Roy, S-U-Z-A-N-N-E, Roy, executive director for the American Wild Horse Campaign, said in a statement on Wednesday that the Bureau was putting the animals in harm's way. New York Times. Yep. So I'll link that article beneath this video posted to my Rumble account. Do read it if you didn't exhaust all of your free read options um, for the New York Times website. The BLM is putting the horses in harm's way. Not cool. Not cool. Do let's get into the bulk of this video. I want to give a very special thank you to the sponsors of this video. You may not have tried Ageless Glow before. Maybe you've just seen me talk about it, and I talk about it for a very good reason. Um, it's an amazing product, and I use it every single day on my skin. It's lightweight. It blends in. Uh, very smooth. It's not sticky. It's it's absolutely amazing. And um, it's like one of those things that you can feel good about purchasing. It's like a win-win, right? It takes away all of the fine lines and wrinkles, sagging neck and cheek skin, crow's feet, 11s, my problem. Uh, and each purchase that you make, they donate a portion of their proceeds to a hungry child in your honor through their partnership with the No Good Hungry campaign. So, Get a couple bottles, share them around with your friends and your family. Glowwithriskflex.com. Again, that is glowwithriskflex.com. So there's something that I think might still be going on that is highly illegal, and it stems from something that has been going on historically among people that run high institutions and that have been engineering our cities. Okay. Marco Polo USA. It's a nonprofit research organization that we have looked into before on this channel. I will link these beneath this video on Rumble. This is their telegram, and they posted a little update. Sarah Lawrence College. The students at this college were working with this man named Larry Ray, who had these connections to top CEOs and politicians, and he was bringing them in coordinating them with the students. Marco Polo USA released a list of alleged clients that some of these underage students were being forced to work with. You know what I mean? This is one of the first times that we have seen an extensive compiled list of these people all together like this in an easy format for you to read. So I'm starting to go through the list. On the third page here, clicked on this one, James Schilling Law. He was connected to Gordon Ray, who laundered escort money to the North Carolina politician, Simon, who actually didn't make it into Congress, but nonetheless, he was using this illegal money to fund his campaign. And so, you know, I don't know if you've ever tried running for a p politician position. It sometimes takes like millions of dollars. And so, you know, people that don't have that much money starting out, where do they get it from? Some some people really hustle. They go door to door. Some people do things like this, the little dirties, okay? Like Lowell Simon. This is how we will remember you, little Mr. Simon. So I wanted to look into James Schilling Law, who was on this list. Here's his website. It's called Inside tra InsiderTravelReport.com. And as I'm looking through it, I realized that one of the main things that he does is he interviews top CEOs of these travel businesses. A lot of them, CEOs of cruise ships, cruise lines. In this video, uh, they interview the Norwegian Cruise Line CEO, Harry Sommer, uh, talks about recent endeavors that he's doing. They're building more ports, I believe, in Alaska. And Katy Perry is like their godmother. I don't know what that means, Katy Perry being a godmother of a cruise line. But nonetheless, 
in this video, they talk about how they met her in Las Vegas and in this like kitty lounge. As I look through his site, I realized recently, like there's been a lot of these cruise lines that their CEOs are resigning. Donald just stepped down as the Carnival Corporation CEO. And then also the CEO of Royal Caribbean. These people are being interviewed by this dude who was just involved with Larry Ray S group. Now, why, you know, would they be so inclined to resign all so quickly while this information is coming out about who they're connected with? Uh, what's going on on their cruise ships? This coming out today from the Daily Mail, three Scientology defectors are suing the church leader, David, they're trafficking these children on these ships and they're forcing them to do labor on these ships. Another cult, again, connected to the ships, forcing children to do labor on the ships. Are you following me? Gwen Baxter, his wife, Laura, are suing the church. Uh, they grew up on the church's ships in the Caribbean and were abused. Uh, he was given to the church's nursery when he was just two months old. All three told how they were sent to Sea Org ships when they were children. They were forced to clean the ships and perform manual labor. They were repeatedly s abused on the boats. They were locked in the engine rooms. This is what they're doing, okay? All the CEOs of the cruise lines are resigning, starting to get exposed in court documents. No coincidence of the timing. A lesser known uh, fact about Portland, Oregon, is that they do have a lot of these tunnels that are connected to the basements of many hotels and taverns, especially around the waterfront. They were built originally to move goods from some of these ships docked at the Williamette to the basement storage areas to help them bypass the busy, bustling streets. And according to some documentation in newspapers around the 19th century. Some of these secret passages underground were taken over by organized crime. The tunnels still exist, and the practice of Shanghaiing was sometimes practiced in Portland as elsewhere. So, what is Shanghaiing? Shanghaiing or crimping is the practice of kidnapping people to serve as sailors by coercive techniques such as trickery, intimidation, or violence. Those engaged in this form of kidnapping were known as crimps. The related term press gang refers specifically to impre impressment. So they would take people on the streets and they would force them to work on the ships. And they worked through these tunnels. Okay, so this is something that they did historically, and it has a term, it's called Shanghaiing. The infrastructure to support this criminal activity is still active in Portland, Oregon, right on the water where the ships come up, connected to the underground tunnels, connected to all of the hotels and the taverns. Their words, not mine, okay? This is still a very active thing. What more proof do we need, y'all? find more original sources. Okay, this one's from the Oregonian. Uh, in 1990, local businessman Bill Naito was quoted in the Oregonian as saying that the tunnels are located underneath Northwest, Couch, Davis, and Everett Streets. Is it interesting how a local businessman knows where the tunnels are located? But other than that, we don't discuss it. Speaking of the ships, uh, according to Navy Times, we're finding out a commander of submarine training facility in San Diego was just fired because they believe he is unfit for his position. That's what they're telling us. He works on the coastlines in San Diego, you know, for the submarines, for the military. And they're firing him. They're not giving us any further details. All they're saying is they don't believe that he's fit for the position. They have lost confidence in him after a bunch of investigations.
And he was previously a commander of the Submarine Development Quadrant at the Naval Base Bangor in Washington. Okay. Some of the world's most elite are in Washington. Bill Gates, um, you know, CEO of Amazon, all of them. They all got waterfront property in Washington. Okay. DWB, thank you so much for your donation. I appreciate you guys so much. Your donations will go towards uh, enabling me to further my research. Don't forget all links that I reference in this video will be posted beneath this exact video posted to my Rumble account. Don't forget this coming Tuesday at 12 p.m. EST, I'm going to be having a members exclusive raffle where I'm giving away a C60 Evo bottle for a lucky member. And this is to celebrate the new members option here on my YouTube channel where to um, support my work. You can become a member, like a little VIP club where you get a little badge next to your name to um, you know, demonstrate your support and you have some exclusive benefits. I just want to uh, you know, show you guys, I really appreciate all of the support that you give me. Thank you to everybody that has been donating to the links beneath this video as well, my, my PayPal, Venmo, and don't forget, I post exclusive videos on my Patreon every Monday. You can check out the links beneath this video. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram and Telegram and Gab Truth Social, Facebook. Subscribe, subscribe. I love you. I hope you stay safe. I hope you meditate and pray to God. Have a great weekend, y'all. And I will see you on the next one where I join you here on YouTube Tuesday through Friday around 5 p.m. EST. Have a great weekend. Bye.